Hey, thanks for clicking on this video. Today I'm going to talk to you about Hero Forge and the quality of their miniatures. About two weeks ago, I made and ordered this miniature here. Um, he's kind of your standard plate wearing warrior looking guy. He's got a big old shield, a uh, little money bag, and a sword over here. Um, yeah, that's basically kind of what he looks like. You can choose all your pose, all your, everything here. Pretty cool. I also chose the material of the uh, premium plastic. It says that it's finer detail and the paint goes on better and everything. So I went ahead and I ordered him um, and I received him in the mail yesterday. So I'm going to go ahead and cut to a video of me opening up the miniature. And then after that, I'm going to prime it and we're going to start painting. So just stick around. All right, so I got my Hero Forge uh, miniature in. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the box now. We can take a look at this guy and we'll compare him to uh, the website and see how they did. So let's go ahead and open him up. Always cut away from yourself, children. All right, here we go. Here's a little guy. That behind us. Okay. Oh, look at that. Get him in the focus there. Okay. Look at that guy. Let's bring him closer to the camera. Maybe change the focus. There we go. Nice. So he's got his little beard and he's got the sweet sword. Um, a few spots we're probably gonna have to sand down on the sword there. That's okay though. Got the money bag. Probably clip those off at the bottom. I like it. Got some grain for the wood. Ooh, get him on the camera. Got some grain for the wood. All in all, pretty good. Good quality. I think I'm gonna go ahead, maybe clip off some stuff here, get them prepped, um, get them primed, and then we'll See what he looks like as we're getting ready to paint him. It's nice. Well done. Thank you, Hero Forge. All right, so as you can see here, uh, we have primed him with the contrast paint primer. It's gray sear. You know, when you wraith bone, I'm still, trying, still waiting for that. Now you can see a lot of the lines. Maybe a little, there you go. Lines are still there. Detail is very, very, very good. Let's bring it a little closer here. Nice, his face is there. See his beard, look at that. That's why I love this primer. This primer, it goes on evenly, goes on smoothly, and really, there's no weird bumps or warbles or anything like that. It's gonna make it painting this guy really, really smooth. Uh, I'm actually really, really excited to paint this guy. So I'm gonna go ahead and get ready and we will start painting. Okay, before we get started, I'd like to kind of go over what paints I'll be using uh, for what pieces. So when you see me just kind of slapping this stuff on there, at least you know what it was. Uh, for the majority of his armor, uh, his greaves and his shoulders and his helmet and everything, I'll be using a base of lead belcher uh, and I'll highlight with Rinfane steel. For anything that requires gold, like the trim of his sword, or the trim of his shield, the hilt of his sword, and a few other things here or there, I'll be using Tributor Armor uh, with a edge highlight of Stormhost Silver. Um, and then I'll be dipping into some of the contrast paints, and so anytime I make a mistake, I'll be correcting that with Grace here, which is the same spray paint I use for the guy, so we'll get it back to that kind of that base neutral. For any of the leather pouches or anything like that, I'm going to be using snake bite leather. I think it gives off a really cool color. Um, it's not your standard brown. Um, it's more of a light, like a lighter tanned leather type thing. Looks really nice. Uh, for the wood of his shield, I'll be using wild wood. It's a nice, rich, dark brown. I like that a lot. For his cape, um, I think I'll be using Ultramarine's Blue. Uh, I think it's going to look a nice contrast with all the other colors. And then for like 
the tassels and things uh, toward the bottom of his, I just can't, it doesn't help if I cover it up, the bottom of his uh, belt there and everything, I'll be using uh, Blood Angels Red. So I think the blue and the red and those things are gonna play off quite nicely. I'm pretty excited to see how this thing's gonna come together. So I'm gonna go ahead and get set up for the actual painting piece and we'll come back. Okay, since the majority of this guy is in plate armor, I'm just gonna go ahead and start painting that. I'm using Lead Belcher again. I'm using Lead Belcher on the majority of the major uh, plate pieces. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I have a smaller brush here. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this the best I can. Now with contrast paints, I'm sure you've all heard, um, not the first one to say this, but you do want kind of a thicker consistency. That way it's definitely more um, uniform when it goes over it all. Like I said, I love Wildwood. Um, it's just an awesome dark, rich brown that really soaks in and looks really cool. Go over the, around the outside. Collected the bottom. Toward the bottom, buddy. Come on. Look at that. That is a really cool wood effect. We'll do it on the inside. soaks in that that wood gives a good natural feel. I think I'm going to hit the hilt 
of this sword with that as well. Should have just enough on here. And the cool thing with the wildwood is it contrasts really nice um, with the, nicely with the snake bite leather. Although you have two browns right next to each other, it's definitely easy to see, you know, which, which one's which and kind of what you're going for. So these contrast paints are pretty cool. Not all of them are um, as life changing as they kind of lead you to believe, but they're pretty neat. So for his undershirt, I'm actually thinking I'm going to make the cape red, these tassels red, and then his undershirt blue. There's a little bit of exposed skin right there that I got to paint, and I got to paint his face. So I'm going to paint his face, neck, exposed skin first, clean up what I have to clean up. And I'm going to paint his undershirt, the blue. And then once that's done, I'm going to go back and put probably the black Templar on these straps here. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. There you go, blue, silver, pretty standard colors. Once I get the red on here, he's gonna really start popping. Now black here is called Black Templar. Go ahead and get that. Shake it up. Some more the brush. Get the guy on the camera. And then put the paint on the dude. Here is snake bite leather. This is why I love it. It's so, such a cool, unique brown.
There's probably a child falling out of bed or something like that. Thank you, squeaky chair. Okay, painting the gloves. Now we're taking it. Regaining some focus. Let's lock on there. And slap some gold on. Sepia. No, yellow for the facial hair. And then tidying up. And we can call him done. 